My name is David Boyer, and I'm an RIT graduate of the uh, College of Applied Science and Technology, CAS 1978. So I'm proof that there's uh, life after graduation. Anyway, I'm here at the second annual Imagine RIT Festival in Rochester, New York, on the Henrietta campus. And uh, just got here at about 10.25. Uh, things are already hopping. I've already got my uh, orange bag, which is uh, pretty good. So uh, let's take a look at some of these exhibits. Uh, we're expecting over 400 exhibitors. Last year they had 16,000 um, visitors, so things are already happening. So let's check things out. No, no, no. This is this is and it's not for prosthetics. Okay. Uh, this is more used for uh, uh, microsurgery, making making robots. Okay. Uh, robotic hands, that sort of thing. featuring here on the table? On this table, this is our traveling engineering activity kits. This is where one of our student engineering, and one of our engineering students will go out to a local middle school uh -huh. and will take these hands-on activities with us and we'll teach the kids about them. We have six different kits right now and we have a bunch more that are being tested right now as well. But the kids get to do all of these hands-on activities and get to learn about a little bit about engineering and what are some of the cool things we get to do. That so. is cool. Like, talk about one of these. So what we have here is our fuel cell car, where it comes. We bought it as a kit, but what we do is we se we um, we separate the kids into different groups, and then within within their groups, they act as an engineer, a certain kind of engineer. And then we have them assemble the car. And then what the, we have them do is we just we teach them how it runs. They perform electrolysis, which is splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen gas. That's what these little tanks are in here. And once they do that, then it creates a little bit of a balance. And then they get to see how a fuel cell works. So they get to see that you can split that water and then create electrical energy when you connect it into a circuit. So. And, and speaking about circuit, you're also teaching about series circuits and parallel circuits? Yep, that's, another, like that. yep, that's another one of our kits. This is um, what we have here is how they would set up a series circuit. So they would just go ahead and do all of these boards and when they would set it up like this, they'd be able to see the difference between like series and parallel circuits. And series, if you unscrew one of the light bulbs, it'll turn off. Kind of like the old school Christmas lights. Yeah. But this is some of the things the kids don't always get to, they don't always know this stuff before we go out. So it's really fun to Yeah, it's to the teach fundamentals. About it. Why do you think this is critically important? Because of the age that we go to these classrooms, a lot of them don't really know much about engineering. So if we get to go and have like a really good impact about, wow, engineering's really cool, it's really fun, it's what they really, it's really important because then you get them thinking at a younger age, well, maybe I want to be an engineer. So that's why it's really important. And it's it's also really fun for us students. So. Oh, fun is important, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Thanks a lot. 
What are, what are some engineering or scientific applications of this? Uh, I don't know. Okay. This was just kind of an experiment I made in uh, one of my senior classes. I'm sure there's uh, plenty of applications for it. One uh, lady actually suggested that this would be good for like autistic children or uh, more special needs, so like they, it's a way to express themselves artistically. Maybe voice therapy too, in terms maybe. of uh, physical therapy. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, a way to coax people to be more confident with their own voice. You know, yep. seeing seeing it become you know beautiful imagery on the screen. So it's, uh, it's it's engineering and art. This is an image I made with my own voice. Pretty cool. So what is it exactly? It's a moon buggy, a uh, two-person human-powered vehicle that uh, we race down in Alabama every year. Oh, wow. At the great moon buggy race put on by NASA. Oh, cool. So you would be the steerer, and then what would you be? Uh, I'm just power. You're, oh, you're the power in the back? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I am Neprizo. I just won last night first place in a scholarship competition. I got 30 grand to come to RIT. Yay! These are, these are my Yay. electric skateboards. Um, they can go over 40 miles per hour, the world's fastest. And they have a built in speaker system with a Bluetooth link. And these things haul. I wear a full motorcycle suit and a helmet when I ride them. This board right here. <laughs> It's called the Skate Aid. It's a kit you can add to your existing longboard to create the to get your board going faster and keep you going at a constant speed. That's and cool. uh, tell me about this board again. Well, this skateboard it's all handmade. I design it all on the computer first, and then I print out the blueprints and I carve out the decks by hand. I reinforce them with fiberglass. There's an all fiberglass bottom on here with an electric motor. It's a robotics motor and it can uh, get you up to 40 miles per hour. Is that like a stepper motor or is it, is it a stepper? It's, is... A, it's a DC motor. It's a uh, three horsepower. It can handle 300 amps. Oh, 300 amps? Holy cow. So then... this is the Bluetooth connection. The control panel, you can adjust volume, turn the Bluetooth on, adjust the bass quality and the sound settings. And then. That's just freewheel. These are the skateboard trucks with uh, 78 millimeters on here. And nice uh, tie-in with RIT, by the way, with the orange. Very, very nice tie-in. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank very you. nice tie-in. Very nice. That's probably why you won. They like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, all these details help. So, so what's your um, what's your next step with this project? My next step is um, getting these things manufactured for this upcoming summer. So. You check out my website or anything, iBrazMotors.com. You'll be able to check out some cool videos and uh, see what's coming out next. That's cool. So there's patenting too relating to this. Yeah, model? I've got full patents on all of these. So. Don't try to steal it. No, no, no. There no, you nobody go. would. No, we, don't, <laughs> right? we don't like them. And how old are you? I'm 17 years old. I'm from Chicago. I go to a high school called Lake Zurich. Now, are you from the city of Chicago or what town? Northwest suburbs. I, I live in Lake Zurich. Awesome. Town. Awesome. So. Well, welcome to Rochester and congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. This is awesome. Good luck. Nice to meet you.